Hello everyone, how are you all doing? I hope you're doing all good. I'm Press G here again and you know as I said I have a theme going like I mix it up. Um, you know mostly stick to the other side. Right now I'm going to be making one of my favorite salad and it's um, chickpea salad. And chickpea salad, um, the chickpea is the most important thing but you can put any kind of um, vegetable you want to put in it, anything. So right now folks what i do i don't use the chickpeas on the tin i use it i get the fresh chickpea and what you do is um you soak it up overnight um i put a little bit of baking soda in the water soak it off and um boil it and it and it cools but the thing about chickpeas folks it has like a trash on the outside right so after all of these years i, I stand and pick those off one by one because you know what there's nothing wrong with having them in your chickpeas but i just don't like you know you see what they look like yeah so they're like a little membrane outside of the chickpeas but just like almonds they're you know um you know when you eat when i find when i'm eating and they just pop right off and you have to you know you have to spit those out um maybe some people doesn't affect so this is what you do um these are boiled already and you just squeeze and this is what comes off you know i don't want to have that in my chickpeas so basically i get remove all of that you know so i'm just showing you how to do that so these are boiled and you don't boil them too soft folks you just boil them just enough and um i didn't add any salt or anything to the water when i'm boiling them because i have a vinaigrette and i'm also be, gonna be using feta cheese and feta cheese is salted so when i finish making the salad i'll decide if i need any more salt you see folks you cannot take it out once you put it in okay but if it's fresh you can put it in and that's how i like to cook so this is the chickpeas here and that's about um i think about two cups or so and it's no measurement here folks like i said no measurement you just the amount it's the amount of people who you're cooking for and um i basically love my salad so um that's probably about two cups so folks what i also do um okay so i'm pretty much sure that um okay my cucumbers are the only thing i um, didn't cut up here so let me show when i'm doing this cassata of a salad folks i use an english cucumber and you could use the seed in it if you want to but i like to um take it out so basically i cut it down the line and this cucumber is so tender um no, no, if I'm using other cucumbers, I take the seed out. But I'm um, sorry, English cucumber, and see, these are very small and nice, you know, tender. So all I do with that, um, I'm just going to cut up my cucumbers. You know, I just, small pieces, small straight. Because everything you're looking for, like, small chunk in this salad. And this salad is in, I have um, olive, I have, um red onions um use whatever onion you have folks like, like i said um, but i have run on it and i have green onions i have some parsley some cilantro and pepper you know my rastamantin red today i even have orange in it so i have red green gold and orange i have a bit of cabbage and the and you must have olive and the olive is pitted and i'm using the black olive because they uh, any olive can be used but i love the black olive and these are pitted and i have some feta cheese and then i'll make the vinaigrette after it and i have some nuts avocado when you cut up your avocado just put a little lime juice on it and um, that will keep it but this salad this is almost like um i think this is the same um thing as the greek salad but only this salad i'm putting that's about everything i can find and that's all this is like a mediterranean salad right now folks and you know the mediterranean diet is so good you know and you could add this with um you know your meal this um you see your salad with your chicken your curry chicken your rice and peas anything it's a beautiful salad to have it's almost like you could say it's a greek salad but um i said chickpeas chickpeas you have greek chickpeas and you have mediterranean chickpeas but i just say this is a chickpeas so uh, whoever want to label it whatever but it's just my chickpea salad i do it all the time so it's neither greek mediterranean nor um otherwise it's empress g chickpea salad you know and 
I have a nice vinaigrette. Um, we'll be making, and this salad can keep in the fridge because you're not gonna have. I'm just gonna use the bottom to line with some um, Boston lettuce, you know. And afterward, you can you heat your lettuce, but um, the main ingredient is all the other stuff that go in. Not so much the lettuce. The lettuce I'm just using as a prop here, but I'm gonna be eating it too. Yeah, but it's unlike a green lettuce salad, you know, you have your lettuce and all of that. So these won't wilt very easily. And when I finish making this, I do not throw on all the um. I just take people, just take up some, and this is what I do with most of my salad, folks. I do not pour all of that stuff over it all at once. I just take out whatever I need and pour over it, and um, and that's how I do it basically okay i see i'm um space by here right now okay because once you you pour it all over and once you do the salad folks you chill it yeah just make sure you get it chill okay it tastes better if you're having a you know dinner and everybody's there and you even you know wait close to when you're ready to serve it you put the dressing on And for your avocado, if you, you cut it, when you cut it, put some, um, just rub a little lemon juice on it and that will keep it. So basically, folks, um, I am going to be using this. And this is a Boston lettuce. And I'm just going to put it in the bottom. And like I said, nothing going to go to waste. When I'm done, it will be heated. So what you do, folks, soak off your lettuce good in, in vinegar and um, some lime juice, okay? And leave it let it soak off get rid of um these are organic though but i still soak them off get rid of all of the sediment um you know because lettuce is growing in a lot of um like spinach a lot of sand or dirt any dirt or sand or whatever on it you just get rid of it and i'm putting on all of this lettuce because all of this i love this boston lettuce and all of this is going to be eaten afterwards some of it, a bit of it, I'm just going to cut up. Yeah. And then I'll just use the rest for um, just the lining. So some, I'll just cut up. And once you put um, lemon juice on it, you don't have to worry. So when you cut um, lettuce or with a knife or with um, get dark pretty fast. No, just when you, once you pour, put your um, lemon on it, it's going to be good. Okay. And he folks, there is no calorie, uh, at least that I know of, in salad. Okay, so enjoy your salad, all of it. And if you have any piece that's um, bad, just discard it because it will spoil the rest of your salad. I know some people is always say waste well, not want it, but it's not good. Get rid of it. You know, get rid of it because that will. Let your salad go bad pretty fast. It's better if you have two leaves out of the old thing. Okay. So right now I'm going to be putting in, um, you know what? I, I'm going to do it on a wider platter. because I have quite a bit of stuff and you know later on I'll just transfer it to a to a bowl but right now I'm doing it and every time I make it like today I didn't have any um mushroom every time I make it folks I had more and more stuff to it you know yeah this will yeah this will be much better presentation wise so you just put your lettuce all around. Mm -hmm. And in the middle, I just put this cut up once. Okay. Yeah, presentation is everything.
time I'm gonna stick in my supper here, folks. So bear with me. Okay, so right now we're gonna start putting on stuff. So we have cucumbers. Cucumbers. And just drain your um, lettuce and stuff very good before you um, And we have all the colors of the rainbow pepper here. Red, green, gold, orange, you name it, we have it. And um, we have some radishes. And radishes are so good for you. And we have red onions. Okay. And we have avocado. And like I said, I'm just pour some um, some lemon juice on it, and it will be good to go. And as for the olive, folks, these are plated olive that I got. And you know, I like to half uh, cut some of them in half. Uh, like they come whole, but with pitted me that don't know seed is in them. And these folks are the main thing. These are what bring out the flavor in your salad. You know, and this is what go back to the Mediterranean. These are pitted olives, black one. You could use green also. Sometimes I use both. And all of these, most of these are all cut up already. And they see the pit is all gone already from it. So, all the olives are right here. Yeah. And this is uh, maraschino, I think, um, olives or something like that. Yeah. And then we're just going to cut some green onions all over it. And you're not gonna see it's a lot because um you know it's green is in the background but it's there you know the flavor is there okay and then folks we're gonna put um now we're gonna put our chickpeas all over and you can never have too much chickpeas folks you can never have too much chickpeas okay and later on you know just gonna mix up everything All over it, all over, and yeah, you want to see colors, colors, yeah. And then I have some cilantro here, folks, and some parsley, chopped parsley and chopped cilantro. And like I said, folks, if you want to add more stuff to it, go right ahead. Feel free. You can add as much veggie as you like, because there's no calories there. Okay, and now you can sort of mix up the everything, the olives and all of that. Just mix it all in. Yeah, cucumbers, everything. My hands are clean. Very clean. Yeah, olives, cucumbers, everything, peppers, everything. All mix in. All good. And that is my version of my chickpea salad and i make it so many times and right now i'll be doing the dressing this one didn't the trash is still on those ones so i'm not gonna i'm gonna Make 
Okay, so for the vinegar, I have a coffee cubes of um, not a lot of stuff you're gonna need for this. Olive oil, Dijon mustard, and I have my nuts here. And oh, I forgot the feta cheese, folks. I'll put the feta cheese on. And this is my brand here, folks. I like this brand, Tristella. Okay, so I'm just gonna drain it. It's a very good brand. Let me just open it. And when you, when you have feta, feta cheese, folks, just use it up. Just use it up. Don't open the thing. And um, if it's a big thing, then I could understand. But it's small. So I just like to break it up, folks. Just break it up all over. You can buy this broken, but no, I prefer to get there and break it up myself. And that's the feather cheese all over your stuff there. Just use your hands, your hands are clean, and just break it all up. Okay. And as I say, feather cheese have um, salt in it. So this is why I was um, you know, adding the salt to the chickpeas. If it needs more salt, then I'll add salt as I go along. Oh, folks, one more thing. I almost forgot the tomatoes. The tomatoes. So let me just cut these up. I like to peel my tomato, folks. Sorry to say, yeah. And take the seeds out. Yeah, you could use um, the, the cherry tomato is good, but I'm using um, large tomato. Yeah. Any tomato you can use, you just cut them up. And... I am taking out the seed because I don't use the seed in. I normally blanch it, put blanch it over the stove and um, in some warm water and get it out. But um, they remember that. But so I'm just peeling them, all uh, the skin off. I don't use the skin or the seed if possible. And these were washed with um, you know, vinegar and um, thing. No matter if they're organic, you still wash them, folks. So I just cut. These are plum tomatoes. Um, I think, what do you call these? Roma. Roma tomato. Yeah. What I do is, yeah, and um, I took the seed out. I cleaned the seed out. I don't use the seed. 